the art of life is how arts and culture affect our values. Our customs, behaviors, and values are byproducts of our culture. No one is born with greed, prejudice, bigotry, and hatred. These are all learned behaviors. We need to find a more and better ways to learn from and understand each other, disrupt vested interests, and imagine and create more sustainable ways of living. Art and culture's core practice is one of the most participative, dynamic, and social forms of human behavior. It has the capacity to trigger reflection, generate empathy, create dialogue, and foster new ideas and relationships, and offers a powerful and democratic way of expressing, sharing, and shaping values. It can help us build new capabilities and understand how to imagine and rehearse a different way of being and relating. It can enable us to design useful and meaningful things and is increasingly the basis of livelihoods and enterprises that are motivated by much more than profit. Our values represent our guiding principles, our broadest motivations, influencing the attitudes we hold and how we act. They shape the way we look at and understand the world and the mental structures that are our ideas. They are the frame through which we construct the stories that we tell ourselves and others about what is important. Art influences society by changing opinions, instilling values, and translating experiences across space and time. Art preserves what fact-based historical records cannot, how it felt to exist in a particular place at a particular time. Art is communication. It allows people from different cultures and different times to communicate with each other from images, sounds, and stories. Art is the best possible window into another culture, and art is the expression of life in the community. Everything there. Yeah, so like, um, my phone's in both of them, and you're just like on the beach, under the sun, like, Whether you're roaming through the Palace of Monaco or enjoying wine at lunch and embracing French culture, you're learning something new about history in different cultures. And this art and history can influence the way that you see and appreciate the world, as well as how you see and appreciate past and present cultures from around the globe. When you're exposed to art and culture throughout your life, you're learning a lot about the world, both in terms of how it was and how it is today, as well as how it can be. This education can help you come up with solutions regardless of what career you end up pursuing, and it can make you a better, well-rounded person in general. Try to imagine society without the influence of art. Life without libraries, museums, theaters, galleries, the personal expression of literature, music, and art, life would be static, sterile, and straight up boring. There would be no creative arguments about the past, no diverse and stimulating present, and no dreams of the future. It's extremely important to recognize that beauty can be anywhere in any shape, in any form, whether it's through nature, graffiti on buildings, or even beautifully sculpted architecture. Art and culture in every form illuminates our inner lives and enriches our emotional world. We need to deepen our understanding of how arts impact on our values and rethink how and why we value art and how it can help us, including self-acceptance, affiliation, community feeling, freedom, creativity, self-respect, and equality. Freedom of expression in every way should be appreciated for its beauty. Art 
is important because it's what brings meaning and purpose to humanity and to my life. Richmond, Virginia is why I'm proud to call RVA my home.